Almost locked myself out the phone. What's up, everyone? This is your everyday consumer, Mikey G, and welcome to a black owned world. And in this video, we're going to be reviewing the F3 smartphone from Figures Wireless. We're going to be reviewing this phone on six different things. We're going to talk about the look, the display, sound quality, the Bluetooth connection, the camera, and of course, the price. Now keep in mind, this is only a review on the phone, not on the wireless service. That's going to be a totally separate video. First, let's talk about the look. I really like the appearance of this phone. I think the blue and violet color designs on the back really catches your eyes, and I like how it changes colors when you move it. It's pretty cool. It also has a small blue pad on the back for scanning fingerprints to unlock your phone or even to log into your apps. Now I have to say, I'm impressed with how cool this phone looks. And I'm not just saying it because my favorite color is blue. Yes, I am. While we're on the subject of looks, let's talk about the phone's display. Now on the figures website, they do a lot of boasting about how the F3 offers a panoramic 4K Ultra HD display. Although I couldn't find any 4K content to watch on my phone, I was able to find videos in 1080p on YouTube and I could really see the definition. The display's resolution is 1080 by 2246 pixels with about 480 DPI, which is nerfed for a high resolution. The screen is about 6.2 inches across and doesn't appear to have any issues with white balance or discoloration. So I'm really happy with the display. Next up is sound quality. When it comes to sound while I'm talking on the phone, the results are fine. I can hear the other person clearly, but the issue is with the sound I get from the speakers. Overall, I can understand what I'm listening to, but when I have music playing, I can tell that it's missing bass. Now, I understand that it's just a phone, so it's not expected to rattle the windows, but I have heard phone speakers have a much better representation of the lower to mid range of sound. This probably isn't a big deal because most people use wireless headsets to listen to music anyways, but I would be remiss if I didn't bring it up. Something else to keep in mind is the F3 doesn't have a headphone jack. So if your wireless headphones happen to run out of power, then you won't be able to just plug in and keep going. Although, there is a dongle that comes with the phone which allows you to plug headphones through the USB-C port. Overall, I would say the sound quality is about average. Since we're on the subject of wireless headphones, let's talk about the Bluetooth connection. We use Bluetooth almost every day, whether if you're listening to music in the car or using earbuds while you're in the gym. Like me. Mm. Thank you, Bluetooth. So it's very important that your phone doesn't have poor Bluetooth connection, which is where I'm not impressed when it comes to the F3. I noticed that my earbuds would start distorting at a shorter distance from the phone than it did with others. And I also had issues that caused me to repair my phone to the car or a headset, at least on a weekly basis. And before you say, what well, a problem could be with your headphones. I paired the same headset with other phones and didn't have a problem at all. So I have to say, I'm a bit disappointed when it comes to the Bluetooth. Now let's talk about the cameras. The F3 has dual cameras on the front with 16 megapixel resolution, which is nerd for decent cameras. And it can shoot video in full HD. The front cameras have good definition in both photos and videos with no noticeable pixelation, but the image appears to have a blue filter on it. Now let's talk about the selfie cam on the back. This camera has 8 megapixel resolution and can shoot video in full HD. And when it comes to shooting video, the visual is clear and doesn't have any problems with definition. However, even though the photos I took were clear, I noticed a bit of distortion in some of them, and the image still had the same blue filter on it. Altogether, I think the cameras are good. You can get a good picture that's not blurry, but I do wish that the color was a bit more accurate. Now we come to the price. You could buy the F3 smartphone from their website for $399.99 and it even includes a complimentary pair of their wireless earbuds, which I've already done a review on, so check the description box for a link. They also have another bundle pack for $499.99, which has the F3 phone, the F buds, the F speaker, and a car charger. I was able to compare the price to other smartphones online and I found phones that were similar in price but had better specs on camera resolution or display. So when it comes to how much it costs, I'll have to say it's a bit overpriced. But wait, there's more! Before I get into the summary, I have some quick side notes for you to consider. Just so you know, the F3 is a droid so it runs on an Android OS. Sorry Apple fans. This next point could be detrimental, but I want to be completely honest with my viewers. While I was doing research for my review, I came across some sites saying the F3 was actually a rebranding of the Okitel U23 smartphone. 
I can't tell if it's the exact same phone because I haven't bought the U23, but it definitely has a strong resemblance and it came out a year before the F3. Now rebranding a phone does not mean it's a scam because apparently it's a common practice in the wireless phone industry. But you should know that you could buy the U23 online for about $220 to $260, which is about a $150 difference. Even if you did include the free F buds that come with it, there's a difference of about $100. This is just something I thought you'd like to know before you decide to place your order. On a lighter note, you can also pay for the lifetime warranty when you purchase the phone and Figures is really good about honoring their warranty. So here we are, we have reached the end of the video and looking at the F3 as a whole, I think it's a decent budget smartphone. I like its look, the display has great visual definition and the sound quality is decent. Its Bluetooth connection is something that definitely could be improved upon and the cameras have good resolution. Although it is more expensive than other phones with similar specs, so considering everything, I have to give this phone three out of five bows. So what are your thoughts on the F3? If you already have one, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll leave a link to the figures website in the description box. So with all that said, have a good one.